In this video, I talk about how I'm learning how to live in the present instead of living in the past. If you want to hear more, stay tuned. Let's get to it. So I'm doing these video, this video for anyone who may uh, be able to relate with um, growing up in the same kind of situation or uh, you know, and making some feel like they're not so alone and with how they grew up and, uh, and what kind of environment they were in. So, so when I was growing up, um, my, uh, even though my, we, me and my sister lived under the same roof as our parents, our parents were unpresent. <laughs> Um, although we were always unsupervised, left to our, to our own uh, devices and stuff like that. And I remember at a very young age, take, I was taking, my, taking care of my sister when I was only like a year or so older than her. Um, so yeah, we lived under the same roof, but our, our parents weren't there. They were always, always off at a party, and if they were at a party, we'd be like, they'd take us to a party, and then we'd, have, we'd, we'd go off into a room and just, you know, we weren't supervised properly and stuff like that. So. So that's just, that's part of that, um, not being present, you know, I go off, I remember just going off and not knowing what to do, so I just go down to the river and sit and, and, and chill or find a stick and mix, find some line and <laughs> do what I needed to do just to keep myself busy, you know, and uh, um, that's, a, that's a small part of of people, uh, of my experience of, of not learning how to be present, right? So. Um, uh, so when our parents were together, which wasn't for very long, because uh, they, what had happened is my parents, our parents separated four times before they got divorced. So all of our, we, we didn't have to, we didn't go into the foster system, which we were super fortunate, but, but because of our parents separating so many times, pretty much all our, all our aunts and uncles became our step parents. <laughs> so our parents would break up, we'd go live with, with family members, They'd get back together. We'd be there we'd be together as a family again for a little while, and and this would just continue, you know. Um, so there was no there was no constants. There was no stability. There was there was no our, our aunts and uncles tried to install, you know, in, in whatever short time it was that they we they were, we were with them. But you know, it was always bouncing back and forth, fast, bouncing back and forth. My mom would run off to the states. My dad would come go running after and, and and taking us kids. And you know, it was a, it was a constant back and forth tug and the tug and pull and, and tug of war and stuff like that all the time. And that you no, know, we we went to every public school and in, in, in the city we were from. We were originally from Brantford, and and uh, we went to school in the states. <laughs> we were living in the states for a little while. We went to school in the states. In uh, in uh, Jewett City, Vermont, um, you know, and uh, so yeah, our, our parents were not not present, um, you know, and because we grew up in an environment with with in that environment being back bounced back and forth and and no stability, always being the new kids on new kid on the block because we're going to the same we went to every school, <laughs> every public school, you know, and so we were always the new kid on the block. We were. You know, um, and and that was really hard because we we weren't able to build those those friendships, those long lasting friendships. So I never, I, I was I was afraid to start getting close to someone because I wouldn't be able to to stick around very long. You know, um, and ne neither of us we didn't know how to build build friendships or or whatever because it was just always that fear in the background of okay well this isn't gonna last <laughs> we're gonna be uprooted again anyway so we were just so afraid to get close to anyone to let anyone to let anyone else in um and that's that's taken its toll because when i when i started getting into relationships and and and, and part of my story is I, i've been married twice and I, I and because of not knowing how to be in a in, in a in a healthy relationship and not knowing how to hold on to good, I'd get into a situation in a relationship, and the things would look start looking, looking look better, and and and, and possibly it might be something that I would want to hold on to if I had the tools, but I never knew, and everything was just going to disappear again, you know. So I would self sabotage, and and I go from being in a in a possibly a awesome healthy relationship, and and the kid grow into something larger and bigger and and, and awesome. I would I would self sabotage and I'd run away from that relationship because I didn't I didn't know how to hold on to that I didn't know how to stay present I didn't know how to I didn't have any tools you know so um, yeah so growing up in an environment uh, not not knowing how to stay present um, and not not and always being afraid of okay this is something's good is happening in my life you know um, 
And if I let anyone just to inside here, inside inside me, to get close to me, it, it, no, and it's it's just gonna hurt when they disappear anyway. So I, I would just self sabotage, and I would take myself. Oh, I was a runner. I know my mom was a runner, <laughs> so I I learned that from my mom. She would things would get hard and tough, and life life would life would get hard, and she would she would run away. She'd run away to the states to whoever and do whatever, and you know my dad would try to try to hold on to everything, keep everything all contained and, 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 and somewhat <laughs> structured, but you know, it's, it's, it's hard, hard for him to, you know, and I've, I've had, I have a different light of my dad, I used to re resent, resent my dad so much, my first wife, I resented my dad so much, I took my, I took, I took my second wife's last name, because I didn't want to have nothing to do with my, my own dad, my own flesh and blood. Like, you know, like I didn't, you know, so the last, I actually went back to my surname and not to, actually only a few years ago uh, because, uh, because of, of all that and, and the resentment and, and how I see my dad and my parents and I, I know today that my parents only grew up with the tools they had, right? Um, so yeah, so I wanted to, to, uh, to share and make this video so someone maybe out there, is, it, it gets better. If you're just in recovery or you're, you know, you're struggling with with life, um, just learning how to stay present, and you know, and going and, and understanding that today that I, I I do deserve good, you know, I had to learn that I was I was deserving of the good things in life, that it was okay to have good things in my life without self sabotaging, you know, and I had to like like listen to a lot of different people's stories to to see, you know what, it gets better, it gets easier, but I have to stick around and I gotta keep open-minded and learning how to apply these tools in my life, um, you know, about, about acceptance, you know, and, and I can't change anyone else, I can just change myself, I can't fix you, <laughs> I can't fix you, I, but I can do my best to fix me and my, my perceptions of, 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 the, of the world out there and myself, right, I don't have to because before I would, uh, what had happened is I just made those all of those agreements about myself. This is what defines me. This is who I am. This will never change. This is the like, written in stone, and, and you know, and 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 and, uh, and I just felt hopeless. I didn't know how to, to. I didn't know how to know how to live. I didn't know how to present myself out in society. So I just isolate because I didn't want. Because I, I, I didn't want to hurt anyone anymore. Because that's how I define myself. The only, th only way I can define myself when I came into recovery is I hurt people. Um, and, and, and that's not the person I am today. Uh, and I know I have, I, I have good qualities. You know, I can be of service. I can, I have purpose today. And that's just, and that's just to make sure that people know that they matter and they make a difference. And, and you know, and people are never alone. You're, not, you're never, never alone, right? So um, there's always a, someone there that, that they have something, something that you need. Um, and I try to be a, I try to make sure people know that they're not alone. So yeah, so I hope you you enjoy this video. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to smash that like button down there and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I hope you all stay safe and warm and have a wonderful day. See you soon.